Ladies and gentlemen and everybody in between, I am the pixelated incarnation of some guy. And thank you very much for choosing to watch over analyzed ads. And what I have for you today is one of the earliest examples of a Hollywood star doing a Japanese commercial. Now for those of you that don't know, prior to the internet, a lot of Hollywood movie stars would go over to Japan and make ads because it paid well and also because they figured no one outside Japan would ever see them. But clearly, that's not true anymore thanks in large part to the internet and also thanks to changing attitudes about, well, whoring yourself out for money. I really don't think any Hollywood star will see it as too beneath them to be a part of a national ad campaign anymore. But nevertheless, I digress. Charles Bronson was one of the earliest Hollywood stars to do this, and it was for a line of Japanese cologne that's apparently still around. So let's take a look at this puppy now, shall we? Oh hey, that's some pleasant piano music right there. Oh, well, hello there, Mr. Bronson. You appear to be the only guy in this bar, and you're just staring at the piano guy. God, I hope you tip him. All the world, love is a lover. And all the world, love is a lover. What type of fortune cookie wisdom is that? And who exactly is he talking to? Is he talking to the piano man? All the world, love is yeah, the audio's not that great. All the world loves Lou. Lou? All the world loves Lou. I guess that's a piano man. So the world loves him. That's fantastic for him. <laughs> okay, let's just cut to a laughing old guy. Maybe this is Lou. We're supposed to love him. <laughs> nah, that's just weird. Old guy laughing, Charles Bronson starts grabbing on him. Who the hell shot this? Good night, sir. Thank you, Mr. Bronson. I'm guessing Mr. Bronson just gave him a big tip and he's all giddy. Well, so far, I have no idea what this ad's trying to sell, and I don't understand why Charles Bronson was first staring at a piano man and then was hanging out with a laughing doorman, and now he's just driving too fast. <laughs> oh god, I can still hear the old man laughing in the background. Take away this joyful music and you have a horror movie scene. <laughs> Oh, that's right, the 70s, an era where artists will create original music for advertising. And also, what the hell is Charles Bronson hallway like? It's all blue. Did he walk in from, like, the sky? Oh, wow, that's something that's gone the way of the dodo. A pipe stand. How retro. Well, I see someone shaves their chest. Okay, Charles Bronson's like, screw you, shirt, I'm home now. Yeah, that's not bad audio quality. That's gunshots happening while he goes over to his perfume stash. Hey, where'd your pipe go, Mr. Bronson? Well, now that I see how much cologne you're putting on, it may be a good idea not to keep an open flame near it. Oh, well, okay, Mr. Bronson's just shooting at us now while putting on cologne. Is this symbolic of something? Yeah, this cologne's so manly, wearing it's like being shot by Charles Bronson. Well, all right, Mr. Bronson, why don't you just go ahead and swim in the damn stuff? Well, I guess he's just so enthralled with fantasies of killing men that he doesn't realize how much he stinks now. Well, okay, there's a horse now. He stinks so bad, the horse can smell him. No, it's more like, hmm. I stink to high heaven and I have a thin film of flammable liquid covering my body. I don't speak Japanese, so I have no idea what he's saying. But I do know there's music going on saying a man loves a lover or something about love. I guess Charles Bronson really loves this cologne. Yeah, hopefully this Japanese man is informing everyone watching this ad that you shouldn't put on this much cologne and smoke a pipe. You could explode. And, uh, 
And so ends the ad. So what the hell did we just watch there? Why, a day in the life of Charles Bronson circa 1970. You know, the height of his fame and fortune. So let's see. He goes out to a piano bar by himself and stares at a pianist. Then he leaves and chats up a giddy doorman. Then he drives really fast to go home and bathe in cologne. And then he appears to spend the night alone smoking a pipe stinking to high heaven while fantasizing about all the men he killed. Ah. Uh. What a glamorous Hollywood lifestyle. And that does it for this over-analysis, ladies and gentlemen, and everybody in between. Thank you very much for watching, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. I am too sexy for my shirt. Too sexy for my shirt. So sexy.